Lies, this might be hard to believe, given my crude-looking mug. But yeah, I know a thing or two. Truly? We ought to see what. Do you know our friend Vivaldi is in possession of five canvases by Van der Nob? Yet he cannot distinguish them from landscapes at five crowns apiece. I shan't pretend it's otherwise. Yet for you, my dear connoisseur Witcher, that should present not the slightest problem, so do tell which of these is the handiwork of Edward van der Nob, the master from Maribor. I simply don't understand their art. Splendid in the boudoir. <sighs> really? Merchant with the pearl, no two ways about it. Who would have thought? Hmm. Might I have a word in private? Forgive me my impertinence. At first, I thought you an ignoramus. Vivaldi's equal. I feel I should apologize and atone, so I shall tell you a secret. A Van Roe is due to appear on the block. The painter's unknown largely, but has a fierce admirer in Marcus Hodgson, a bookseller, has his shop in Novigrad's main square. I wager you'll sell him the canvas at a tidy profit. Thanks. Oh, think nothing of it. Now, please excuse me. My friend's Becky. So, what did he tell you? Nothing special. Truly? Huh. Shame that. All right, let's go. Ink spot upon ink spot. She a number of them's doing my heed in. Huh. Esteemed ladies, honorable gentlemen, the auction will begin shortly. Take your places, please. Ah, at long last. Come with me to the fore. I won't see much elseways. Listen, forgot to ask you, how's this auction going to work? They'll bring out three lots to start with. Once they've sold, or not, they'll be an intermission. Horse Basodi will probably appear then. That's when I'll introduce you. Counting on it. In the meantime, have you got a budget? You prepared to beg? Of course I will. Went to the trouble to sneak me in here. I'd be an ass not to take a stab. Ha! Ah, knew the bug would get you. Esteemed ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. I hereby open the auction. Ladies and gentlemen, 
Lot number one is a brass figurine from the collection of the infamous Count Romilly. Rumour has it the figure harbours a treasure inside. A rumour one may prove or disprove solely by destroying the beautiful bauble itself. Starting price? Quite the bargain at 50 crowns. Any advance? With Master Hilbert at 100. To Countess Mignol, now at 150. Do I hear 200? Might I have an advance? The white-haired gentleman enters a bid of 200. Do we have 250? Splendid Countess Mignol bids to... My, my, this is lively. I've 300 going once, going twice. Do we have 350? All to the white-haired fellow. Lot number one, the mysterious brass figurine. Proceeding now to lot number two. A canvas, starry night over the pontar. Charming piece. Truly a bargain at 20 crowns. Ladies and gentlemen, 20 crowns, it's practically naught. Yes, the gentleman with the cat eyes. At 20, do I hear... Sold! Van Roo's starry night over the pontar to the gentleman with the cat eyes. Lot number three, ladies and gentlemen. A true rarity, scarce as hen's teeth, spectacles. A frame of gold, mountain crystal lenses polished by the tiny dexterous hands of the gnome masters. Once the property of the famed hired assassin known as the Professor. Starting price of 200 crowns. Anyone tempted? Gwent Maestro Hilbert offers an advance of 50. Do I have three? My, haven't we livened up? 300 from Yaramir Ivanovich Zaitsev. Going once, twice. Incredible! With the white-haired gentleman now, good folk, at 350 crowns. A generous offer indeed. Any advance? 350 going once, going twice. Sold! Invaluable spectacles to the white-haired gentleman. Exceedingly glad they'll be useful. May they serve you well, sir. Oh, the excitement. With the three lots behind us, we'll go to an intermission. Amenities abound. Please partake. We'll resume shortly. Oh, Geralt, look! Horst Basudi! Come on, afore some other cocksuckers steal him. Just, well, don't expect a warm welcome. Greetings, Horst. Allow me to introduce a dear friend and associate, Geralt of Rivia, who comes uninvited. But you've gained by my presence. Dropped a hefty pile of crowns here. I'm not like Vivaldi. Profit alone only goes so far for me. I seek more. The auction house is primarily a meeting place for the local elite. I needn't tell you, an itinerant mutant doesn't quite fit in. <laughs> Got the distinct impression the two of you started off on the wrong foot. Perhaps we should raise a toast to... What's one like you want from one like me? Right, let's dispense with the niceties. Maximilian Borsotti's house. Gotta lay my hands on it, whatever it... What? Where did you learn of it? Gentlemen, no reason to lose our composure. Raise our voices. <laughs> I ask you, where did you learn of it? Whoa, come on now. Where?
from Old Geard von Everek name mean anything to you? It does. Guards, escort the Witcher out. And he's not to enter, not alone, not hand in hand with Hierarch Hamelfart. Honestly, he asked a question. It were a simple inquiry. One more word, and I shall move my accounts to the competition. Sorry, mate, but... No reason to trouble the guards, Horst. I'll go willingly. I don't recall giving you a choice in the matter. Kick his swiving mutated ass out. Your swords, Master. Law says we're to return them. Law don't say when, though. So we'll do it, aye. Just after we beat the singing shite out of the honorable gentleman. Mm-hmm. Gathering place for the elite, truly. Come on, lads. Let's loosen our muscles a bit. Virginia! Your mouth oh, smells of gooseberries! Oh, come on! Right! Oh. Oh. 